Did you know that snails can sleep for up to three years? Hello, Internet. I love Mondays. Do you love Mondays? Mondays are great. Do you know why? Because on Mondays, you get to listen to me talk about pointless things for about six minutes. But we should probably get to that right now anyway. So the first order of business, I want to touch on the subject of politician Eric Massa recently being caught fondling his staff. And they weren't women either. They were men. Big, hairy, sweaty kind of men. Of course, Eric did not refer to it as fondling. He referred to it as tickle fights and regular guy stuff that guys do now and then because it's regular guy stuff. Maybe it's regular gay guy stuff, but it's not regular straight guy stuff. You know, I don't really go up to my friends and say, uh, Hey man, I just wanna... Hi, hi, how you, how you doing? I just... Hi, hi we're, we're great friends. Hi. What? Don't walk away. This is just regular guy stuff. What are you doing? Then when Larry King asked Eric Massa if he was gay, he kept avoiding the question and he said it was a ridiculous question and he avoided the question again and again and again. Now I can understand why he wouldn't want to answer that, but to call it a ridiculous question? After you admit to groping and fondling and whatever other men, it's usually normal for people to ask you, are you gay? Now, despite the truth in that statement, Eric Massa has actually decided to resign from his position in U.S. Congress. And you know what? It's kind of understandable that he's resigning. I mean, he's taken a lot of heat for this whole gay thing or whatever it is. And I'm sure it'll just be easier on him to leave and not have the media around him anymore. But I mean, the media will probably still be following him around even when he is resigned and everything because they tend to do that. I would post a link in the sidebar for you to look at videos and all that stuff, but if you just type Eric Massa into YouTube search or Google search or any search, it'll you'll probably find everything that you'll want to read or watch about this guy. All right, so the next order of business is the death of the YouTube community. Or at least that's what the Will of DC called it last week when he talked about it. The death of the YouTube community will of course be brought about by the Facebook scam where people make Facebook pages and and you go to become a fan of that Facebook page and in some way you actually subscribe to a channel that has no videos so people are getting like 150,000 subscribers within two days but they haven't made any content they've just made a Facebook page and a lot of people are saying this is bad and so am I so that's all I have to say about that make sure you check your subscriptions and make sure you're not subscribed to anybody that you don't remember subscribing to also if you're subscribed to someone who has no videos that would probably be a bad thing and the next thing we need to talk about as slowly as is quickly possible justin bieber will be appearing as the musical guest on the next saturday night live which is this coming saturday for those of you who aren't able to clue into that right away. Now I know a lot of you are under the impression that I hate Justin Bieber, but I don't hate Justin Bieber. Remember that video that I made a while ago was sort of a trolling kind of video and it kind of worked because it's gotten a lot of views, uh, but I have gotten a lot of angry comments on it. Justin Bieber is, well, was a member of the YouTube community, so he does deserve that amount of respect from me and everyone else in the YouTube community. He worked hard and he got famous because of YouTube, so congrats to him on that. I mean, I'm not a fan of his music, but he is probably a great guy and deserves the fame that he has right now. I mean, he probably has let it go to his head a little bit, but that probably happens to everyone who gets famous. Especially if they're like 15. Anyways, what I wanted to say is that it used to be a big thing to be a musical guest on Saturday Night Live. That was kind of like saying that this is it for you. Like, you know, you've, you've made it to this point and you're this famous. This is a big deal. But now I'm starting to wonder if they might be bringing Justin Bieber on just to make fun of him. Because Saturday Night Live is that kind of humor and, uh... You never know, this could turn out bad for him. So hopefully they're not too insulting to him, but hopefully it is entertaining, and uh, we'll see what happens. So now it's time for everybody's favorite part of the show, support the hater. <laughs> Today's support the hater goes out to a YouTube user named HHQB Studios. HHQB Studios is 18 years old, joined YouTube July 16th, 2009, and lives in Canada. HHQB Studios left a comment on one of my videos saying, You suck, you friggin' retard. Your videos smell like poo in a jar and you need a life, so go and buy one. Okay, so to confirm this comment, we are going to do a scratch and sniff test. I want you all to scratch your screen about where my video is, then smell it, and then write a comment below of what, what you think that smelled like. If it smelled like poo, then HHQB Studios is absolutely correct, and I need to fix the scent of my videos. And as for buying a life, I would, but I have no idea where to find one. Seriously, I've checked, like, every store. I cannot find them anywhere. Can you give me, like, a website or 
something to help me out here where I can buy a life because I really need one. So please support this hater because they need all the help they can get. And now for today's shout out. Today's shout out goes out to a YouTube user named TashaBun03. TashaBun03 was the fifth person to comment on my last video. Congratulations, TashaBun03. Shout out to you. Remember, if you would like a shout out on one of my videos, just be the fifth person to comment on this video and I will be sure to give you a shout out in the next video. And if you'd really like to get a shout out but don't have anything to comment about anything else that I've said in this video, here is a weekly Would You Rather. Would you rather be made fun of on Saturday Night Live for fondling little children or coworkers, or be made fun of on Saturday Night Live for her being a really bad singer. Anyway, that's all I got to say for today and the rest of this week. I'm Isaac Oli, and thanks for joining me once again on Rant.